spare parts. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna give you a rundown of what exactly is going on with, I guess, everything. I got my truck apart, pulling the turbo. We're gonna make sure the veins are good. I had a lot of people that know a lot of things about these, give me some ideas. So I appreciate everybody, like, their advice is top notch. So I appreciate everybody who uh, helped me out with that. Cornhead, still got some stuff to put together on that. I've just been running out of time. Honestly, I've been doing this for two days. I'm not gonna give you guys a five minute video of me doing, working on stuff, talking about life. So let me give you a rundown though of exactly where we're at with everything. And I know there's people that say, hey, you're, you're beating a dead horse, you gotta leave, blah, blah, blah. I have a full-time day job that I'm not just gonna up and leave. I'm gonna give notice. My boss, everybody already knows, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do for the future as far as where we're gonna go farming, but we are gonna go farming somewhere. So when I say we, I literally film my whole life to you guys. Like not every detail, but pretty much my whole life. You guys see everything. And I enjoy pushing myself on daily videos and I've enjoyed, I would not have been able to go to renter stock and hang out with all these cool people and everything else and have Tom call me this morning. Um, Tom Renner, call me and say, thank you, you're welcome back anytime, if it wasn't for the ability of the camera and what really goes in all the effort. So keep in mind, everybody's like, oh, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I literally made videos for a year and a half and I made zero on them, 20 people watched them. It was kind of, it was, it was cool to like get rolling, but it takes a lot of work. and. Finally, I'm at the point where, hey, I can go somewhere and people are like, hey, Duffy Ag, and they hang out and Yank, well, Yanko's more famous than me, but, alrighty. So, let me put you guys somewhere. I'm gonna go sit down and we're gonna talk about life. So, I got my pickup apart because we're going to Western New York and I gotta make sure everything's perfect in that turbo. I don't wanna have an issue. Um, oh crap, left something. So, I got that, I got a brake booster to throw in. Look at this, getting fan mail. Wait till I tell you guys about this one. Um, so, we're gonna do that. I got some farming left to do on my own. Um, I do have five acres that needs cover crop. It's in my contract, and we'll take a third cutting off of um, the grass crown I got. So, we gotta diss that, run my air seeder set up over that, and then figure it out. But we are going farming somewhere next year. I just got to figure it out. So currently, the reason why everything's taking so long is I'm working on an application to go farming somewhere um, for myself, my own ground, stuff like that. So that stuff takes quite a bit, um, as you all know. So I got back from work today, and I was like, all right, kept pulling stuff apart. Then I got an email saying, hey, you're missing this. We want to see this. Explain this, blah, blah, blah. Round and round we go. My life's a little complicated as far as, well, you guys see multiple jobs, multiple incomes, multiple different things, multiple plans. Um, so, but I appreciate everybody with the support. You guys have been awesome on everything. So, I got fan mail last night. My brother gave me it. It actually did not go to us. It went to the park office, which is, that's cool. So, there's always gonna be haters. And I don't mind the haters. It's just like, why would you, why would you hate on somebody when they're literally showing everything? Just shut the YouTube off. If you don't like what goes on, go find a different channel to watch. Don't sit there, watch every video and critique it and act like you're a big man when you don't have a farm. But anybody who goes out of their way, and it does have a postage stamp from Hartford, Connecticut. I'm going to figure out who this is. Anybody that goes out of their way to write me a handwritten letter bashing on my work ethics, um, telling me to um, stop being lazy, telling me I shouldn't have American flags on my equipment because people have died for that and, the, and I'm an insult to that. Like, 
and half of your writing I can't understand. It's like halfway cursive, but it's sideways. I don't know who. And down at the bottom, it's got a name, but it's all scribbled through. Something Farms Inc. So, saying I don't put any effort in. Like, why would you put that much effort into literally bashing on somebody who's putting the effort in and then showing everybody putting the effort in? I don't understand it. So, I appreciate everybody that that isn't a, a POS, I guess it would be. I, I don't even understand. Like, why Why would you do that? But, alrighty, that is what's going on. Um, I do have a place picked out, and it was my original place that before Iowa even came up. I do not think, I. it's, so by the time you guys see this, it's past the 1st of September. I wish I could make Iowa work. Um, it's just so much to put together in a short period of time and to say, yes, I can make it work. Um, it's 600000 just on input costs. Never mind anything else. So, yes, corn's worth some money. But as everybody said, and I appreciate everybody who's reached out to me and appreciate everybody who figured out where I was, there was quite a few people that watched the channel that were very local to that. Um, and they said, work off this, work off that. Work off $4 corn. Work off the drought year, a failure year. That way... If you can't, if you can make it like that, then it works. And yes, I could make it work on paper, but still, an operating loan of six hundred thousand, FSA only goes to four hundred on an operating loan. Um, plus, it takes a period of time. I was told that in that area it was the best FSA office to deal with, and they were great. But I just, I just ran out of time. Like I couldn't get all my ducks in a row, and thinking. Okay, bring some of your equipment out there. Okay, $20,000 in fuel trips by the time you get what you need out there. And then a lot of unknowns. I will definitely be back to visit and things like that. Like, Illinois was awesome. Yes, we're going to go to Rantoul next year. Um, so, Renner Stock is every other year. Rantoul is every other year. Um, yeah. I got some ideas as far as making some road trips, how we're going to make our lives even better. So I appreciate Andy going with me on a road trip and everything else like that. But alrighty, I've rambled enough, um, and I don't like rambling along. I know I do it quite a bit to try to explain to everybody what goes on because there is people in the comments, and I know people are gonna say, "Oh, don't listen to the haters. Haters fuel you." I don't care what you say. Read them, toy with them, and then keep going. So in a year or two, you can be like, "Remember that time?" Um, yeah. But I love all the support. You guys are awesome. So, I got some clips leading up to this, and then we're gonna, then we'll be into this clip. Hopefully, I can get that turbo out. And yeah, we got to look at the the ring on the back. I think it's getting caught up. That's why it did act up the other day. We got that and a brake booster to throw in the truck. Then it gets hooked to the trailer, and then uh, I don't know if anything's getting loaded on the trailer. But we're going to the show. Farming some bitch show, and somebody said, oh, you use profanity. What? I keep this very, very appropriate. That is the name of the show. Some unique uh, memorabilia. I th memorabilia? <sighs> I'm sorry. I will drop a picture right here of what it is. Um, to commemorate history. To commemorate history. Yeah. So, Tom and... I and all of them out there, it's going to be a great show. It's for autism awareness. Colburn's going to have the dino out there. $20 a dino pole, I think. Do you guys see Yank away over there? Yeah. All right. That is Sunday. Should be a great time. I'm excited to see people. There's going to be some cool people there. So, and yeah, we're going on another road trip. But all of this stuff was planned. All righty. Let's dive into this. You guys are going to see what's going on. What are we going to do today, bud? Hey, welcome back to the channel. We had a long day of work. It is Taco Tuesday. I know. It's a, re it's a religion around here. What do I got going on? We got, we got to get that gearbox on here. Still got to figure out that cylinder. I should take that off tonight and get it to him. I can put the wings on to some degree. Yeah, you can put the, I can put the wings on. I just got to leave the cap out the end, the cylinders out, then you can slide it back in. I think. 
or you wing it up and then slide back down but if we get the wing on then we can start putting things together i do got to get the turbo out of that truck i believe the veins are actually stuck um and i got a brake booster to go in it that's probably more of a priority to be honest because well colburn hit me up and was like yo we bring the dyno yeah we're bringing the dyno to uh farming some bit show on sunday so good show all the proceeds go to autism awareness so make sure make sure you guys are there so i guess i'm gonna pull that over here and we're gonna pull the turbo see if we can clean it up i believe the ring is what i was told is probably the issue on it and it's binding up certain points so let's see what we can dive into today we might have some celebrity guests over here or something like that helping out probably not we do it all by ourselves it seems most of the time which isn't a bad thing so appreciate you guys watching along Spare parts, we don't need that. Just kidding, we do, we do. We definitely need that. Okay. Well, we got the downpipe off. I wish I had a lift, at least get it off the ground, be able to see what I'm doing. But, where are we here? So, got the downpipe off. We gotta do the up pipes um three bolts on each side so six bolts total three bolts underneath oil lines already disconnected and we should be good to go but yeah it's gonna rain here supposedly at some point and it's taco tuesday and i'm a mess and everybody's already headed there like everybody so i guess i'll catch you guys tomorrow um and we'll see what we get done. I got to put some rags on this stuff. Yeah. It's it dirty. Got to get the blue clamps. So, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Previously, we uh, started pulling this turbo that we got to make sure that the veins and the ring and everything are actually good on it. So I think that's going to be our issue, but we're going to find out once we get it out of there. Um... Yeah, got the downpipe off yesterday and then just ran out of time. And it did rain last night. Not enough to make it worth a damn, but yeah, it did rain. So I gotta get that turbo completely out and then we'll see what we'll see what we have. Yeah. It's okay. It's it's cool. I love it. Love wrenching. Um our boy who's uh Ronaldo. The uh while bartender at tacos yesterday he was like you're a mechanic right you want to work on some stuff no i would never want to do any of this stuff on other people when i put a so let me explain this motor so down in here there's an injection pump and that injection pump factory has a cp4 in it cp4s are known to fall apart destroy put all sorts of metal things um starve motors and destroy your injectors so this has a cp3 in it which came from earlier series which is a much better much much better pump it's also it's a 10 millimeter cp3 which means it's got a little more oomph to it um do we need that in this truck no but it is nice i like it i so this was my toy back before i got right into farming and semis and stuff and at first it was gonna just be a little quick truck and then I said oh, I'll drag race it a little bit and legally at the, at the tracks and then uh well yeah we give it a little more horsepower then we cracked some pistons in the motor and then we uh built the motor to where they should be stock motors I don't know Ian who I got the original CP4 from CP3 from he made it quite a ways on his stock motor um but four years of nitrous decided to destroy, to destroy itself mine well we daily drove it for a long time so we are um yeah we're we're gonna pull that that big snail out of there and 
see what we can do. It should be a part. It thing's pretty heavy. 67 pounds, I think, and it's an awkward 67 pounds in there. The oil feed line is updated, so it should come right apart. We don't have bolts that go through it. It's a connection piece, which is really convenient when you're doing stuff like this. There's just so many things that updated in these trucks as far as aftermarket stuff that should come on them factory. CP3 should come factory. That updated in between. Um, alternating cams. All of that stuff should be a factory. Like that should be how they built them. I don't know why they would do the alternate. So factory, this cam goes like one, two, three, or one, two, four or something. Alternating cam, that's the firing order. Alternating cam goes like one, five, two, something like that. I forget. I should look into it. I, I, it's been two years since I put it in. Well, Machine Shop put it in for me. They built this motor, and they did a hell of a good job. So go, up, go back, watch those videos. Those guys were old school. If you don't like profanity, don't go back and watch them because every other word was something. But you can't beep out every other word if you're trying to make a video. We're just caught up on the boot over here. There we go. Oh. Advise, do not do this by yourself. Oh. Okay. Turbo over here. Yeah, things actually look really good. I did have one time where I had foreign material damage on one of them, but and we also grenaded one, but we're not going to talk about that either. The foreign material, they just rebuilt it for me. So what we got to do is split this apart here. So I already got it loosened. I was going to try to pull it out of the truck with that front half, but the oil feed was going to mess with me. So as you see, it's an updated oil and it's just a line. And then there's a clamp that you can reach and tighten way easier than the old one would come up from behind the turbo. It would go and go up to there and you'd have to bolt there. And then you'd have to stick it underneath and you'd have to get reach in the back. So this is that solenoid that I swapped out and we're actually, we're going to get a new one for it. So I was really hoping I would take this apart and things would be very rough. But honestly, they look pretty good. It's uh, it's got a little bit of buildup and stuff in between it, but nothing too crazy. This is all good. So they say these holes get egged out, and that hole right there looks pretty good. So that does not give me a good feeling. I've been at this quite a, quite a little bit. Checked everything on the turbo. That all looked okay. There was some buildup. I did get this everything to move really well now. So I wonder if I did have a weird spot where. Something was sticking and this wasn't going all the way, but I find that very hard to believe. But that looks much better than what it was before. So everything's cleaned up. <sighs> they do have ring kits, everything like that. I don't really feel like I did anything today to this. I don't. So I don't know. I cleaned up, we'll put it back together. At least that rules out that the turbo's having any issues. Um, I expected to take it apart and it was going to be junk. I put this back together and then I was like, I don't think that's really exactly right. I think one of the veins was like sitting all weird or something. I don't know. I couldn't get it to move by moving the solenoid while the plunger on the other side. So now we are good. It is, well, it's 1020. Ow, I almost just fell over. I got my arrows out there. So. Do I feel like we did something today? Not really. To be honest. They had some build up on them. They were a little tight. I really don't think we did much. We'll put it back in and we'll see. Um, I was reading through uh, threads of diesel comments and stuff like that on things. And one came up with a very similar stuff no codes first second gear you start getting into it and then it falls on its face it's not it's not fuel related i can tell you that rail pressure goes up to 30 32,000 32,000 
it PSI? I don't know. K KPA? I don't know what it actually is. No, it's not KPA. So, it goes up to it. Um, so everything's good there. It just has no boost. And somebody said, I had the mass airflow sensor get a moth stuck in it. And uh, it did funky things. Which, you got a filter on it always. And I, I've always had a filter on it because I'm scared of putting something through it. Um, oof, oof. So, maybe the mass airflow sensor has something funky? Maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I appreciate everybody watching along. Um, trying to get this thing so I'm very comfortable with it. And we'll go to Farming Some Bitch Show. And I keep forgetting to put the tag down and whatnot. I'll do it. It's, yeah. I'm tired. It's been a long day. So, appreciate you guys. Hopefully tomorrow I got a quicker day at work. Um, and I don't have to do any paperwork. And then I can finish this up and see where we're at. And we'll go from there. So, appreciate you guys. Have a good one. See you on the next one.